Hi guys, thanks for coming to our channel again today. Just a very quick video. I had a question from Sophie who asked about getting this move to follow her nicely when she was trying to pan around, take a nice video. I think that the problem might be using the pan and lock mode versus the follow mode and it's a really easy thing to fix. Um, if you look at the light that's flashing on the front of the smooth you can see that there is one blue light just flashing once that means that it's in the pan or lock mode and you can switch bet between panning and locking just by pressing the function button once if you press it once it will go into pan if you press it once it will go into lock and you can switch between those two modes by just pressing the button once so i've got my iphone set up inside the smooth gimbal i've downloaded the app i've got it connected and you can see that the blue light is flashing once. Now that means that it's in pan mode or lock mode. Now I can switch between pan mode and lock mode by just pressing the function button once. So if I'm panning, you can see that it will follow where I'm going. So I'm panning around in my living room. There's Olive the Greyhound. I'm panning and the gimbal will follow where I'm going. Now I might want to lock it. I press the function button once and now it's in lock mode. So now I'm moving, but the camera is staying still in the place that I locked it on. Now to go back to panning mode, I just press the button once and we're back into panning mode again. If you want to go into follow mode, and this might be where Sophie was having her trouble, if you've pressed the button twice, you'll see that the blue light starts to flash twice. That means that you're in follow mode. It doesn't pan as nicely when you're in follow mode, and that might be where you get a bit of crazy action with the camera sort of going its own way and you don't know what is happening. When that happens, if you've pressed the button by mistake or whatever, just press the trigger button at the back twice and it will reset back into the pan lock mode. Another problem that um, I had and still have sometimes and other people have been having as well is when you lower the camera down and it at one point it will flip see that it will flip again just press the trigger and it will return but what I've found is that you can anticipate when it's going to flip so once I get down to a certain level bend your knees and lower yourself down and that seems to help prevent that from happening so I can put the camera right down on the ground and it's staying in the position that I want it to because I've squatted down. If I move up, I stand up as well and we can go all the way up to the ceiling almost well, much higher. So down I go, probably hear my knees crack and then I'll put a link in the description below to a couple of channels that I think really are good at explaining all the technical side of using the Smooth and other gimbal devices. Uh, one channel in particular, EMT, who uh, compares the Smooth with other gimbals in case you're not sure which one to get. Um, and he also does a lot of fantastic videoing and um, filming of, and use of, of the gimbal to really showcase what it can do. So I, I highly recommend looking at his channel if you um, are interested in taking it further. I hope that answers your question, Sophie, and to anyone else who's having those same issues. Good luck with your smooth and enjoy. Thanks for watching.